self-identifying the fact that you are a caregiver opens up a lot of resources at your employer. Now we're seeing that employers like um, Foyer and others, and you know, this is what we advocate for is providing that flexibility, you know, so that you can have a little bit more working from home space or if your FMLA runs out, then replacing you, Amanda, is very expensive. You know, it's very, very expensive. That retention cost of employees are expensive, is expensive for employers. Um, so providing that flexibility, creating that sort of trusted environment is important. And now employers have lots and lots of solutions today. Um, we see at Voya, I'm actually surprised at how many solutions employers provide. We look at our employers for, to provide our 401k, our retirement plans that we do at Voya, but also healthcare and um, dental and vision and all those other types of benefits. But more and more we're seeing employers provide backup care. So Bright Horizons is one of them, you might have heard of them. Um, they provide backup care for your child or even aging parents now, um, any dependent really. And then the other types of solutions that we're seeing more and more are what we call caregiver concierge services that are becoming more and more sort of prevalent, especially now, that provide for um, caregivers in the workplace because it's hard for us to navigate like social security, all those government benefits, um, even insurance, health insurance. And if you've got someone on the phone who actually understands how to navigate these services and these organizations, it makes it so much easier for you. Um, so I just wanted to sort of, you know, react to that and just let you know that I think, you know, there are resources available in the workplace and that you should ask your HR manager or your supervisor uh, on what is available because you'll be surprised at the number of services and benefits that your employer provides, especially now during this pandemic.